Alright, what's going on y'all? A long time no see. Apologize for the lack of any uploads, any content on the channel. I got a little preoccupied with some temporary work there uh, last year that kind of took my attention off from, um, you know, making videos and uploading content. But, um, you know, despite that, um, still apologize for uh, not, you know, making a, an effort to upload something. But uh, that being said, I guess this is more of an update video, filling in some things that are going on with me. Um, for those that had been following me on Facebook, I'm no longer on Facebook. So um, the sole primary reason why you followed me and friended me on Facebook was for uh, the, the videos and the content that I was uploading and sharing. You know, sharing via links from YouTube on the Facebook. Just come directly to the channel. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and sub. Click the bell icon and uh, make sure notifications are on. That way, whenever I do possibly get back into uploading and creating content, you'll for sure get it, maybe. Just depends on what the, uh, the notification system for uh, the sub box just happens to feel like doing that day. Because we all know YouTube when it comes to uh, getting the content that you usually subscribe to is a fucking hit and miss with the notification system. But it's not getting way off into left field or anything or off subject. But yeah, come, come directly to the, the channel and uh, you can get your OKT film fix on. And if I am doing anything new, um, you'll see it. But uh, you know, I'm not going to go into a long-winded explanation. But yeah, I pretty much all uh, deactivated my Facebook account. Pretty much all done and over with social media. Uh, I probably could, you know, discuss, you know, the uh, the multitude of reasons of why, but. I don't feel the need to explain, you know, um, you might have used uh, social media enough and experienced uh, what it had to offer, you know, even if you do weigh the pros and the cons of, you know, having a social media account. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so what's been going on with me, you know, after a temporary work that I got, there for a you know a month and a half, and you know, I was working uh, in tobacco, you know, out in the fields cutting and spearing tobacco, and you know helping load it up, haul it to the barns and hang and whatnot. So it was a pretty good little temporary job. Thoroughly enjoyed it. You know, got another trick and trade under my belt. So come uh, September of this year, if I need to, I can fall back on it and uh that's a little bit of revenue and income some money to possibly play around with uh for future endeavor and projects maybe but uh yeah I'd... so i didn't see me there quite a bit there for a while because you know locked up on some temporary work you know cutting spear and hanging tobacco and all that good stuff that comes along with the territory of that but um, not too long after, you know, falling into some work, uh, probably right around the end of uh, right around the end of October, the start of November, if I'm um, having to break down and go to the ER over some strange, weird, uh, sharp shooting pains in my lower right hand abdomen, thought I might have been suffering from appendicitis, and I had a friend. You know, his appendix actually ended up rupturing. You know, he didn't know the telltale signs and the symptoms of what was going on. And um, quite a while with a ruptured appendix where he uh, ended up going to the uh, the hospital. And he was damn lucky to uh, live through the experience. You know, he called this guy Andre because he, he was big like Andre the Giant. And by the time, he, you know, he recovered, you know... Um, 
They're like a uh, almost a seven foot tall uh, walking skeleton of skin and bones. So you know, the fear of it being appendicitis, you know, forced me. You know, end up going to the ER, and um, it ended up not being my appendix, but they couldn't really tell me one way or the other what it was, which is, um, I guess, kind of fucking stupid, but um, this is just what I was told. There's a possibility of maybe uh, kidney stones uh, forming. Um, could have a kidney stone that is fully formed and, and, and trying to pass, but what um, kills me about that diagnosis is um, you know, all the normal tests and procedures and whatnot they do. You know, take urine sample, you know, blood work and you know, CT scan and you know the typical run of the mill, you know, ER fucking shit. Um. My, you know, as far as like a, you know, urine sample specimen went, um, they couldn't find any um, microscopic blood follicle or anything in my urine to indicate that I might be passing a stone or in the process of passing one. Uh, as far as white blood cell count, you know, there's nothing of like a urinary tract infection or a kidney infection of that nature. And the CT scan said, you know, um, if it's possibly a storm, you know, stone forming, it could be opaque, you know, transparent to where you couldn't visibly see it on the scan. So, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping that's all it is, is kidney stones, or a kidney stone, but, you know, since the day after to now, you know, I've done what they've recommended, Drinking lots of water. Um, had a lot of people uh, recommend and suggest cranberry juice. Swear by it religiously. It's a combination of water, cranberry juice, and you know other liquids that I, I looked at. To make sure you know it was safe. You know and contribute to the problem to uh, possibly dissolve and break down the stone or stones if that is what it is, but. I think here very soon, um, I'm probably going to go in for a second opinion because um, most people I talk to that's experienced kidney stones and had them, you know, um, so it's undeniable whenever you're going to pass the stone. They, they, you can't mistake it for anything else. You'll know it if you're, fi if you're passing a, a fucking kidney stone. It's more or less what, not, you know, not going into uh, how they described it, but... Yeah, so hopefully whenever I go in for a second opinion sometime in the near future, the problem persists because, I mean, it's, you know, I can't really say it's gotten worse, but it's not gotten any better. Uh, you know, I have good days where I don't have any discomfort or pain. And, you know, I can do things. And then there's days that it, it does flare up. You know, not bad, you know, it's tolerable, you know, the discomfort and the pain is there, but you can still somewhat function and carry out daily tasks and, and do things, and then sometimes it's just excruciating, annoying, intolerable pain in my right hand side, you know, lower ad abdominal area, and, um... You know, my, my sleep schedule, it's not really been the greatest, but, you know, there's been a couple of nights to where it's kept me up, you know, all night, day, and I'm like, damn, man, I just want to go to sleep. You can't get comfortable. So, you know, already having a fucked up sleep schedule to begin with, on top of this, whenever it flares up, whatever it is, you know, this makes it even worse. So that's, has a lot... A lot of contribution to, you know, not me being outside, um, you know, trying to make videos. I, you know, I have at tops, like maybe every other two to three days, try to go out and throw for 10, 15 minutes tops, you know, just to, to have, 
just to try to stay in the rhythm of things, but um, I'm not really even trying to get out and do a whole lot of throwing or anything. You know, I had uh, went out in the garage a couple couple of days ago and started work on a project. I mean, I guess I could go ahead and show that off here. This is a this is not finished, but whenever I do get this finished, this is going to be a a pretty ridiculous bayonet. I didn't have to drill the lanyard hoses. Pretty much already there. I am gonna make it a live edge knife, but it's gonna be a super fucking thick knife. I got a decent start and run on it. The only thing I gotta do is do a little surface condition finishing on it, knock out a few uh, pits and whatnot, and finish live edging it. Yeah, get me some uh, something for pins, and I'm not sure what kind of handle material I'm going to use just yet. But you can see that's a pretty ridiculously thick uh, bayonet. And it's still got a like I said, it's still got it's unfinished. It's got some rough spots in it that I'm going to have to smooth out and perfect. But uh, yeah, felt good enough to go out and and do that and. I haven't quite finished it. You know, maybe I'll get around to finish it and you know try to do some kind of you know video with it, showing it off. But um, yeah. Other than that, um, this is keep me in your thoughts. Send some good healing vibes and energy my way. Uh, prayers and etc. and whatnot. Well, hopefully, whenever I do finally break down and uh, go in for a second opinion, you know, maybe this entire time it's just been kidney stones and the uh, regular run of the meal procedure, you know, having to drink water and cranberry juice and all that stuff to dissolve them, break them down so you can pass them. You know, I'll have to, I, you know, I don't know the medical term for the procedure, but I guess it's. So, yeah, I guess they take and emit some kind of shock wave to bust stones up to make them to where they're manageable to pass. So yeah, whenever I finally do maybe possibly break down and go in for a second opinion, you know, it will just be a case of stones or just an individual stone that's too big to dissolve and break down and I'll have to have that done. I'm hoping it isn't nothing serious, but... Just keep me in your thoughts. Like I said, send some good energy... Some good healing vibes, you know, prayers. You know, it, it all helps. But um, I may be taking a, a break from um, doing any content and videos, you you know, for YouTube this year. Because, you know, I've, uh, I've been thinking about uh, trying to um, get some things done and accomplished. I've been kind of procrastinating and, and neglect to do. Um, I'd, I'd really be considered finally going and completing my GED, getting my general education diploma. That would more likely help a whole lot in being able to find, you know, steady work, whether it be part-time or, you know, full-time job somewhere. I'd be happy with part-time just to have something to start back on, you know, getting a little income rolling in. Uh, you know, the general education diploma, going and finishing that, you know, could look into maybe taking some courses or classes or something at the community college. I had a friend that was a, you know, recommended maybe getting into welding or something. I think that would be a good skill to learn and pick up. Uh, Yeah, there's, I'm going to have to, because, uh, you know, the last eight years, you know, I've, I've spent a lot of time, focus, and energy, you know, on um, making videos, you know, um, coming up with these ridiculous outlandish trick throws and et cetera and whatnot and making montages. And, you know, that's not counting knives and, you know, training for events, you know, and, and trying to scrounge up money to go to events, you know, um. 
I'm not saying all that stuff's bad. And, you know, I'm not saying it's been a waste of time and something I've just kind of been doing in vain because, you know, I wouldn't change any of it. But uh, I think this is the year that I need to actually take what focus and energy and effort that I've, you know, put into a, you know, training, you know, knife and tomahawk throwing and all that stuff, them, you know, making videos, creating content. You know, I need to take my focus and attention and energy that I've directed and all that and actually redirect it into doing stuff that's actually going to matter you know that will help improve me you know help better me and maybe get to a better place in life i'm not saying things right now it's present day and time of dispensation you know dispensation as far as season i'm in, in my life is um necessarily bad you know it's okay things could always be better and you shouldn't be content with just okay you know, I I feel like in a lot of ways, you know, um, I'm not going to say it's chasing a pot dream, you know. I'd, I'd be a liar if I said, you know, the last eight years, you know, um, was it hoping for some kind of break or something to finally fall through as far as, you know, being a, a season, you know, I, I think at this time, I guess I can fall into this category. You know, being a, a seasoned, you know, career veteran, you know, knife and tomahawk thrower. Uh, damn, I hate that when that happens and you get lost in chain of thought. You know, I, I think I, I can actually, you know, take a break from... from you know, doing all this, and you know, actually, uh, focus my attention and chain of thought on um, doing things that will uh, more likely, most definitely, probably will, you know, help me in a lot of areas of my life that's been kind of lackluster <laughs> for the past eight years. But um. So, you know, you may or may not see some new vids for 2019. You know, if uh, I do follow through with some of the things I'd like to get accomplished this year, and, you know, I actually full-heartedly, you know, direct my attention and efforts and energies into, um, you know, accomplishing a few things that I've kind of, you know, just procrastinated on. You know, I, I might try to do a couple of videos, just simple stuff. Um, as much as I'd like to continue, you know, trying to do all the crazy, overly convoluted, complex nonsense. You know, some of that stuff takes a lot of, a lot of time, you know. Not just hours, you know, sometimes days, sometimes weeks. <laughs> and, um... If I, you know, do start focusing and dedicate my attention on, a, you know, going and complete my general education diploma and getting it and, you know, looking into maybe going to community college or, you know, getting a license made and, you know, going back to work, whether it be via part-time or full-time, and I'm not going to have a whole lot of time free time available to um, sit there and, and, you know, try to work out the mechanics and the equation and formula to make a lot of that, you know, near, damn near impossible shit of reality. So, I mean, well, I, I probably will keep making videos, but it's going to be really simple, short, basic stuff. Like the, the craziness stuff, I'm just not going to have, I'm just not going to be able to focus on, um, doing ridiculous uh, shit this year. Uh, I don't want to get this video long-winded and drawn out, but yeah, I just um, know that I'm still around. Uh, for those that do have uh, my contact information, where we exchanged it before I deleted my Facebook, don't be strangers. Give me a call. 
shoot me an email or something, you know. Just keep me in your thoughts and prayers. Send some uh, good positive healing vibes and energy my way. Hopefully I'll get an okay report whenever I do finally go in for a second opinion and it won't be nothing serious. Like I said, it'll just be the lesser of the ailments. And it will, you know, in case be uh, <laughs> just a uh, case, you know, aggravating ass uncomfortable, you know, kidney stones or stone. But, um, yeah, I'll be around. You know, I've been thinking about quite a bit of y'all. Uh, I know I'm not the only one going through hardships, you know, not to mention any names or anything, but, um, if you're happy to watch, you know, either one of you, you know, I, I know what's going on and you're in my thoughts and prayers. And, um, just keep on keeping on. And, um, hopefully there'll be some light at the end of the tunnel and, you know, it'll be all good. You know, I, I was paying attention to some things that was going on in the background, you know, of me going through the process of a saving photos and certain things off of Facebook while I was deleting it, you know, clearing out my timeline, all that stuff. So I, I, had, I was paying attention. But yeah, I, I'm well aware of some of the uh, the trials and tribulations. Some, uh, some of you, my, my friends and colleagues, have been going through and dealing with. And uh, your faith in God and just uh, take it one day at a time. You're not alone in your struggles and the things that you're uh, you're dealing with. Now we might have a rough, rocky, you know, a rough, rocky start going into 2019, but you know, a rough, rocky, you know, unpredictable, uncertain start of a year it doesn't necessarily have to uh, be what the entire year, you know, uh, ends up being for for a few of us. But um. Yeah, for those that have contact information, you know, mailing address, email address, sell, keep in touch, don't be uh, strangers, you know, it's, it's every once in a blue moon, you ain't got to be an everyday thing, just be nice to hear from a few of you, it's whenever it's convenient, I mean, I'm a huge no lie for biblical proportions anyway at the moment, so, just call anytime, email anytime. Hell, if you want to go the old primitive route, which I think is a lost art tradition, go ahead and pin out a letter, throw it in an envelope, and put it in the mailbox, and I'll gladly sit here and read it. <laughs> but um, I'm just saying, not not trying to get long winded or anything. I think that's I think that's about it. In 2019, I'm you know trying to do some things that I've uh, kind of procrastinated and neglected to uh, finish and need to do and uh, try to figure out what the, the fuck is going on with me like I said I'm hoping it's just a case of a kidney stone or stones we'll find out whenever it comes time to uh, cross that bridge and go in for that second opinion um, may or may not continue doing videos for this year but if you know, I do. It's not going to be nothing crazy, so don't expect nothing too out there. But, um, I think it sums it up. There's nothing really more to say. I hate that this uh, is the first video I've uploaded in a while. I know a lot of y'all have been patiently anticipating, you know, some fresh new, um, throwing oriented related content, but just ain't been, um, just ain't been able to. You know, I probably probably could have done a few little short five minute videos of just some no spin or something, but I don't want to cheat y'all as far as content goes and the subject matter thereof. But um Y'all have a good one. We'll see what 2019's gonna have in store for us. You know, um hopefully I can get back to a better place, you know, as far as my, my health goes. I'm still kicking, still alive, still 
still being able to get out and do things, but whatever this is going on down here, I've got to, to get this figured out and situated. And um, definitely, definitely got some things that, you know, actually is beneficial in the long run that I need to uh, try to get done. Need it, it's a must needs, you know. I got to do it. And I apologize, I'm going to uh, be you know taking you know time off from maybe throwing and you know doing videos and making content, but I got I've definitely got to direct my focus and my effort energies on um things that's going to better me, you know in a long run. But uh God bless, y'all take care. And uh, I guess I'll see you when I see you in the next one, whenever that may be. But um God bless and uh see you around.